Yeah, a habitat is a place where creatures can live. It's, it's shelter, it's food, it's water, it's consistent conditions or predictable conditions. Native plants just contribute food and a host for shelter and uh, yeah, they, they support the wildlife incredibly. Plant native plants. Put native plants in your landscape. Approach your, your church groundskeeper and see if you can get some native plants in there. Um, if you work at a place that, that has no plants in front or invasive plants, talk to somebody about getting native plants in there. That's a, a big starter for restoring the habitat. Native plants require less input. They have more pest resistance. They help the local habitat thrive. Native plants provide food and nectar and all-around habitat for the animals that live local to the area. California has native roses and native grapes and native lilacs that are beautiful species that are also a host to a wide range of habitat. Two plants that should definitely be utilized more are willows and oaks. They are major powerhouses for habitat and for providing animals with lots of different sources of food and nest building and uh, they're just all around great for habitat. Toyon is a great one. Milkweed varieties support monarch butterflies. Dutchman's pipevine is a great one. It provides a swallowtail butterflies with their food source and uh, they're awesome plants. Uh, most of these plants are actually gorgeous plants. I think it's just important to, to raise awareness um, to get people interested in native plants and, and to see their value in the habitat. It, it supports a wide variety of life. Also people need to recognize that their life, their quality of life is a direct reflection of their habitat and what's thriving around them. And maybe if they start to see that it affects them and it impacts their, their quality of life, then people might do a little bit more to embrace that.